Greetings and welcome to Yoga for Life. I'm Deb and I'm so appreciative that you have joined me for our weekly Sunday meditation. It is Sunday, June the 27th, 2021. And today our meditation will focus on extending your rhythms. Um, so thinking about connectional energy on a cosmic level. Um, and uh, this meditation uh, focus comes from Sacred Time, Embracing an Intentional Way of Life by Christine Walters Paintner. And to bring you out of meditation, I will share Christine's poem uh, entitled The Cosmos. So as always, I invite you to get comfortably seated or uh, laying down in the supine position, whichever you prefer. Um, remembering that comfort is queen, so feather your nest and get settled in so that the physical body is very, very comfortable, which allows the mind to relax and rest more easily into our state of meditation. So hopefully now you are in that comfortable position. I ask you to close your eyes, relax the face, Close the lips, relax the tongue and jaws, and connect to the breath. Allowing the breath, breath to deepen and lengthen into that rhythm that is just right for you in this precious, sacred, precious moment. Continue to breathe deeply, and as you do so, expand your imagination into the cycle of your life. Notice as you move through your breath cycle if any memories, awareness, or insight comes to you. What is the season you are now in? What is the season you are moving toward? in terms of your life cycle. Stay here for a few moments, being present to the rise and fall of your life experience, just as you experience the rise and the fall of the intimacy of your breath. Now expand to an even wider circle and imagine embracing all of your ancestors that came behind you. See the way the love of thousands has brought you into this life in this moment of time. Breathe gratitude for their struggles, endurance, their love and their witness and their pilgrimage pilgrimage behind you that made your life possible today, giving thanks and gratitude and love for all that they went through to provide your present life. Now expand your awareness once again and call to mind Teilhard de Chardin's image of the breathing together of all things. See yourself as intimately connected to all of creation in a great rhythm of expansion and contraction. Imagine the trees taking in the carbon dioxide you release transforming it into oxygen, and then sending out oxygen for you to take in and nourish yourself, all in an endless dance of giving and taking, taking and giving, giving and taking, taking and giving. Imagine all of the creatures breathing in harmony with you.
Now expand your vision one more time and see yourself as part of the great cosmos that scientists tell us emerges from a big bang, a moment of powerful explosion and over millions of years expands and expands into the universe until one day when there will be a tipping point and everything will contract again as in one great cosmic breath of which we are a tiny part. Remember, it is the heralding of the vibrational energy of Ohm that was created at the beginning of this Big Bang. And it's that vibrational energy of connection that's locked into every living thing and non-living thing down to the cellular level. And you might want to chant OM three times and feel that universal connection, that vibration of unity and peace and joy. Um, um. and meditating into the sacred time of expanded rhythm and connection into the silence, into the silence.
attention back to this sacred, precious, present moment. Slowly and gently returning to your normal breath pattern and simply notice how your body is feeling. Once again, giving thanks and gratefulness, gratitude for being able to connect to spirit in the intimacy of sacred time. Cosmos by Christine Walters Paintner. That first moment, explosion of fire and fury, a stampede of sun's light poured into the dark, chalice of space. Sparks wheel across the dome overhead. We look to the inky sky to track creatures formed there, crab and scorpion, lion and bear. Stars which died a million years ago still throbbing with impossible light. When I close my eyes, I see them still and it seems they reach to me and I to them. Is it gravity or a longing kindled by stardust within me or the doorway to forever? And a closing blessing. As we cultivate a new relationship to time, one rooted in presence to this moment, one that honors the various seasons of textures of time and how it always moves in circles, we can perhaps deepen in our trust of the divine unfolding of things. We can hopefully begin to lay aside some of our own fears and anxieties, our rush to get somewhere important or to do important things. We might breathe more, pausing more often just to savor and linger over life's splendid moments. What have you discovered in this journey? And what have been the challenges and the graces of exploring the rhythms of life into sacred time? And I'll close with this little short quotation by Mary Oliver. Instructions for living a life. Pay attention. Be astonished. And tell about it. I want to give you a meditation teaser for next Sunday's meditation. We will explore the seven chakras and the mudra for each of the chakras and we'll chant the seed sound as we sustain the mudra, the hand gesture and the energy it evokes, moving from the root chakra all the way up to the crown. So that's what we have to look forward to for next Sunday's meditation time together. Until then, be safe, be kind and be well. Namaste.